matching its highest ranking in school history. Texas 5-0, Creighton 6-1, including a win over a top-10 team. Here's Ryan Nemhard, whose brother Andrew plays for the Pacers and beat the Lakers at the buzzer the other night. In the paint, Kalkbrenner gets it to go. He's averaging 16 points per game on the season. Extra 20 seconds here for Texas with the new possession. Car driving into the lane. Nice pass underneath. And to Sue at the block. We talked about this in our game the other night with Illinois with Brad Underwood. You love those stories of guys that work for decades as assistants or head coaches at smaller schools, getting an opportunity at the big time and excelling. It's like a million bucks because he dropped 20 pounds since last year. On the drive, Nemhard off the window gets it to drop. The sophomore from Canada. And yeah, when I think of this guy, I think of poise, Dave. You mentioned his brother. It's a, a poised family, the DNA. Offensive rebound and the stick back by Dylan Mitchell, who's averaging 8.7 rebounds per game. The best is yet to come for Mitchell. No, it's so good on a rebound, rip and run. Excellent rebounder, good with the ball. Alexander got it to Kalkbrenner underneath, and he scores. That's his second field goal. The game is tied at six. Shot clock at 10. We have yet to have a whistle. Here's Timmy Allen with their leading score last year. His role has changed a bit this year. His scoring is about half of what it was a year ago, but he's a veteran. Started out his career in Utah, willing to sacrifice for the good of the team. Kaluba pulls up and hits. Rhythm of Kaluba. I thought he was really antsy in Maui. Forcing a lot, turning it over. The seal the blow by the slam. His second dunk already. On the perimeter to attack him off the dribble. Well done. Kaluba's going to try a three. That has not been his strength. Just 31% from out there. Smooth. And the coaches said he's been pressing a bit offensively, but was very calm and poised there with that attempt. They leave Mitchell wide open, and that's the second time that he's hit from about 12 to 15 feet. And what Mitchell may show some of the 36 scouts here tonight, that he's got more than just athleticism. Nemhard with the lob and the slam by Kalkbrenner. Third basket for Kalkbrenner. He's got six, the lead crate, which has a one-point lead. Here's Allen, a deep two. Now with the roster improved. Empty possession there for Creighton. Here's Timmy Allen in transition. Good screen set that time by Bishop, and Allen able to hit. His feet did not travel while he was on the move. Bishop driving. Fakes right, goes left, and hits. Over the seven-footer. Yeah, the reason so many players are open is these, these coaches are daring some of the guys who are low-percentage shooters to shoot it, and they're obliging. Hunter from two-point play. So Tyrese Hunter transferred here to Austin. It's the new world we live in, college basketball. Oh, there it goes. Hunter with the steal. Here comes the challenge. Hunter hangs. And the lead is up to five for Texas. Timeout, Creighton. Because then it was anybody else. It could have been the player that committed or anybody else on that team, and it would have been a technical foul. Goaltending there as that one goes for Kalkbrenner, ending a stretch of five minutes without a point for Creighton. Well, two excellent coaching staffs. Year 13 for McDermott here. Year two for Beard. Was it a student assistant for Tom Penders when he was a student here at Texas? Talented point guard, one of the best in the country at his age. See if they can get it to Kalkbrenner. He's got eight points on four of four shooting. Paluma driving. Wild oh. shot, but it goes again. You see the potential on display there. You know, defense by Creighton. Now Alexander. The hunter right there in his grill. Kalkbrenner, there was some contact, no whistle. Kalkbrenner's five for five now. Ten points, and Creighton back within one on the three. He's two for six and 0 for two for three. Texas as a team is 0 for five from three. Good pass underneath. Kaluma puts it in, and Creighton has the lead. Chris Beard calls for time. Have not been able to make the mid-range jumper. Hunter coming off the screen, drives the lane, goes to the left, and puts it in off the glass. Now up and under, missed the shot, may have been deflected. And now Carr looking to push tempo, goes right at the shot blocker, gets it to go, and one. Three-point chance for Marcus Carr. Chris Beard really trying to get the crowd into it. They have been a little subdued. 
Again, perhaps with the early start, Nemhard got by his man, lays it in with the left hand. And Carr missing that mid-range shot because Kalkberger back in the lane. Baseline cut off by Nemhard as Hunter was trying to drive. Now a shoot for three, and it's good. Tyrese Hunter drills the triple. Three-point shooter, he was 0 for 6. Nemhard missed a long two. What hands by Mitchell to strip it away from Kalkberger, the seventh footer. That's the lob here. It's dead to kick out to Carr on the spot of three. It's good. Largest lead of the night for Texas at eight. Golf runner working on DeSue and powers it up and in. He is still perfect, six for six from the floor. See, they're going to play off Jimmy Allen and make him a driver. On the cut, Bishop. Nice job. Yes, good defense, too. I'll tell you, this has been a great matchup. Hunter has been all over. Nice cut. Coloma with the slam. Great find by Nebhard. Nebhard to the open floor. Coloma with the lob. And Colt Brenner with the throwdown. Nicely done. Coloma under control. This guy shot 46% last year at, North, at South Dakota State. There's a three. Yep. Jabari Rice hits it from the corner for Texas. Rebound Cunningham. No. Carr buries that one. <laughs> Rattles it down. Not finding anything tonight. Here's Carr on the move. Sweet. Bishop goes to the right hand and puts it in. Texas with its largest lead of the game and a timeout by Creighton. Brenner double. Lost it. Good defense by Texas. Here's Carr again pushing tempo. Nice pass. And the layup for Timmy Allen. Terrific play by the freshman Morris. And this has been an amazing matchup, Hunter and Nemhard. He has shut Ryan Nemhard down. Until now. Until, until now. Rim. Yeah, good job by Ryan. Who Two games against Arkansas and Arizona. That was just his sixth point tonight. Back to a single-digit deficit now for the Blue Jays on the road. Nice pass by Rice to Mitchell. Beautifully done by Mitchell with the offhand. 18 from three. Only 35% overall. Nemhard maybe starting to get more aggressive. Boy, I thought that hit the backboard. It did. Yeah, they're going to count it. Yep. That's good. That's good play by Ryan. They switched out. Creighton matching its highest ranking in school history. Fifth time they've been to number seven, never higher. Mitchell, short, got his own miss, attacks the rim and puts it in. He's got to space the floor now for this guy. He creates some uh, driving opportunities. There you go. Nemhard missed that time. Kalkbrenner puts it home. Kalkbrenner, eight for eight from the floor. Only two turnovers committed by Texas in this ball game. Carr gets into the paint, puts up the shot, and it goes for Marcus Carr. He's got 15 points. Nicely done. Remember, Carl Brenner's going to drop, 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 and Carr took it as far as he could, and he shot a 10-footer. Wow. Nemar, that thing almost at the top of the backboard. Nine minutes remaining. Nine-point lead for Texas. Carr again driving. Mitchell lays it in with the left hand. What a different Marcus Carr this year. Defense by Texas. Nemhard cannot get past the bigger Bishop. Now he does, and he scores. Terrific. What a play and a three-point chance here. Ahead to Morris. Pulls it back out. Allen, catch and shoot. Got it. Allen with 11 points now. Going, and he has it yet this season the way he wants. This becomes a, an even more dangerous number two team in the country. Watch out. Another dunk for Kalkbrenner. Nine, the rest of the team is 11 for 43. I went to Syracuse. I'm not sure what the math is there on There you that, go. That's pretty good. Kicks it out. Kaluma for three. He has the only made three. Nice pass down low. Alexander with the touch to Kaluma gets the slam. That double team almost turns it over. Texas continues to harass him every time he catches it deep. Nemhard driving left-hander. What a great play. play that time by Nemhard. Car off the Allen screen. Car driving into the paint. Shot clock inside 10. From the foul line, it's good for Jabari Rice. New Mexico State transfer. He is a winner. Three titles in the WAC as an Aggie. He sprung Houston originally, finally a three.
for Shireman. He had missed his first nine tries. That's just the second made three all night for Creighton. Almost $400 million into this gorgeous arena after 45 seasons at the Irwin Center. Shot clock at two. Shireman has to put it up. And he scores. Oh, man. He's made back-to-back -back shots, and his team is within three. Allen driving. Shot clock inside at 10. Back out to Carr. Tyers at five. Carr on the pull-up. That's good. Carr with 17 in the lead. Back to five for Texas. Looking to drive. Goes off. Way off the mark. Long rebound. Bishop. Got numbers. Gives it up. And Hunter puts it in. Committed at 17 foul. They missed it. Yep. Rebound Kalkbrenner. They got to go. They need threes. And Texas will switch out on the three. Shireman. And he drills it. Oh, my it. goodness. That was four. <laughs> Give him four for that. 21.2 on the clock. Home run. And Hunter wide open. And the dunk. That might be the exclamation point as Creighton completely lost Hunter. Six-point deficit. They need another three. Nemar instead driving. Got to get it back out. Here's Shireman. And Shireman nails it. Another three. It's a three-point game. And he knocks it down. Big four-point lead for Texas. No timeouts for the Blue Jays. Carr got a vote. The lead is five. Blue Jays got to hurry. And you watch Nemar. He's going to save it. There you go. Eight seconds to go. Nemar driving to get the two. There was some contact. Count the basket. 5.2 left. Texas does have a timeout. They got a foul. Creighton does. And they grab. Cunningham. It looked like he actually got rid of the ball. Violation. Did not shoot well tonight. Gets it both. Five-point lead. Now Texas just needs to back off here. Nemhard. Texas with its first top ten win at home since 2009. They christened the brand-new Moody Center with another huge victory. They beat Gonzaga by 19 recently. They take care of number seven, Creighton, tonight, winning 72-67.